Hey everybody, Paul Springer here, Springer's Detailing. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I did a video about my vans and my trailer and I've done a lot of upgrades, so we're gonna redo this video. We have two vans, this is my 2008. We run the Ford Econoline vans. This is the E350 Super Duty. And when we get to the suspension, I'll show you how I made it into almost a 450 for the water weight. Um, got V10 engines, all power inside, windows, door locks, everything. Um, these are extended vans, so they're about four or five, I think three or four feet longer than the regular vans because we got a lot of equipment inside. So we're gonna take you on a little tour. So I ran factory brakes for years. Like I said, it's the E350 Super Duty. But with all the water weight, 300 gallons in the van, when I haul the trailer, it's another 300 gallons. This one heavy vehicle to stop. So I finally upgraded the brakes on both, van, both vans, front and rear. You can see the size of these babies. Drilled and slotted rotors all the way around and these giant calipers. Um, these things stop amazing. If you guys are detailers watching this or you haul water, anything heavy, you gotta build your vehicle for this type of weight. So for the suspension on this, these vans are always dumped in the front and it's really annoying. So we put a two inch lift coil. It's like an RV coil um, with Bilstein shocks. That lifts the front end two inches, levels out the van. And then we run steel wheels. Um, I ran some aftermarket wheels, had a problem with them leaking. So I went back to steel, powder coated them black, did these cool, cool spike lug nuts on them, which is my style and looks really cool. And then let me show you what we did on the rear suspension. So on the rear, this is the E350 Super Duty, but we haul 300 gallons of water and all the equipment, it makes it really heavy. So to beef it up, I take out the leaf spring packs, send them to Deaver Suspension here locally. He adds three more leaf springs, put them back in, and then I put in a Firestone airbag system where I can, with an onboard compressor and a switch and a gauge, I can fill them up or air them down from where I'm driving. So usually when I'm full, especially when I have my trailer on with another 300 gallons of water, I'll run 100, 120 pounds of air in those. So that brings it up, makes it way more sturdy. So for the exterior design, of, instead of painting them, we did a full wrap. So we did a charcoal metallic gray base. And then on the hood, we did a black American flag. I got Diamond Shine Products emblem right here. Um, Metal Pulsar 3826, one of my best friends. I use Time to Shine products. Um, got the star in my logo. Um, that's the great thing about wrap. You can just design it and print it and stick it on like a sticker. Got my website, my Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube pages right there. So let's take you inside the back and show you the equipment and all the stuff I did in there. So let's check out the back. Love to clean, live to clean. It's my life. So you can see all my products are on the doors. These are the ones we use mostly every day. We run 330 gallon water tanks. Everything's bolted to the floor of this van. By the way, the first thing I do to these vans is a complete line X on the floor all the way up under the seats. Um, makes it strong helps with the noise when you're driving. Um, any leaks, you, there's no way it'll rust. And then we got these Honda GX270 engines for our pressure washers. The reason I run these big engines, I can run the engine on half throttle and I can open up the pump to about a third to a half. These things run for 10, 15 years like that. They're just kind of humming along. We got ladders, cords, 
Again, Honda is my favorite. They're quiet generator, so 6500 electric start. We can run a vacuum and two blowers at the same time on this. That's why I run all big equipment. Um, got all your brushes, supplies, got a key rack over there, fire extinguishers. We have three, one here, one in the front, one in the side. You wanna be safe. Everything's put in here real nice, real organized, keep everything clean. Um, just, just runs all day. So it just really works well. I've been doing this setup for about 20 years now. So another thing I wanted to, you guys to notice, these are cargo vans, only glass is in the rear and on the front. Um, they make them with windows, but I don't like them. But I like these cargo doors on the side, not the sliding door, because I got cup holders here. I got this basket for dirty towels and extra products. And then I got these shelves. You couldn't do this with a sliding door. You lose all your space. These are really nice for all my brushes and, and got three of those. I'm in here, you can see my water tank. Got a passenger seat back here. Have a five drawer Husky toolbox bolted to the floor for extra tools and stuff, all my polishers. Um, have an organizing rack in there with more stuff, vacuums, blowers. Got sandbags for when we pick up our water. Um, Got a lot of space in here. I've taken advantage of every inch of this thing. That's why I like the cargo or the extended van because you need that. I've got a big tank in here. So here we have my 2004 Big Tex single axle. It's a six by 10. My brother actually gave it to me, thank you. Pretty much identical setup as the vans. Honda EM 6500SX generator electric start. Gigantic pressure washer over here. This one's the 390. Um, put a bigger one on here because you can crank up the throttle and crank up the pressure if you got some big jobs. We do big fleets of big rigs, so the reason I bring the trailer is not only just because of water, 300 more gallons, but we have a pressure washer on each side of each truck. There's, we have a, there's a crew of four of us, makes it easier, just two guys on one side, two guys on the other. Got some eight foot ladders. I had this trailer powder coated. Um, my brother did all the lights on it, looks sweet at night. Um, did a new, um, forget what wood I used, but a new wood deck. <laughs> and we wrapped it just like the vans, a little different. This is my fleet service trailer. It says metal polishing, semi trucks, has our logo on it. Actually, this is a 3,500 pound rated trailer, but with the weight, I said, no way, it's just too much weight. So we put a 5,600 pound axle, bigger brakes, bigger wheels and tires. Got the flags on the fenders here. Buckets with our wash mitts. These are our big IK sprayers, foam cannons, or foam sprayers. Okay, so up front, this is one of my favorite tools. This is a hot link, meaning I can run this into my hose reel, and this will make boiling water. And I got a 12 volt. I keep this battery charged, that way if we're just using this, I don't have to run a generator with a cord. And you got these big crates up here with all our stuff, tire stuff, towels, um, wood blocks in case I gotta jack something up, microfiber on handles, got diesel, this is a diesel burner, got diesel fuel, extra gas. So this is my setup, I hope this helps people, I guess the biggest thing I want detailers, mobile detailers to know is water is extremely heavy. Getting it moving is tough. Stopping it's tough. Hauling it around. Um, I broke a trailer axle one time, scared the crap out of me. So that's why I've beefed up everything just to be super safe. Not only for me and my employees, but people on the road I'm next to. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm very passionate about the detailing industry. Um, I love what I do, love the industry, love to help. So thank you for watching. Um, I just would thank you if you'd subscribe to my channel. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Springers Detailing, and springersdetailing.com is my website. Go have fun out there, get your brand, start rolling, working, um, live your passion. Peace.